So if I'm going to play a, uh, a D, a four string chord, um, or some other four string chord, I would um, start with I would start with this pattern here um, if I wanted to play a D. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, one, four, two. This is what we want to get to, obviously, we may not be there just yet. So I'm playing it on the side of the thumb, about like this section of the thumb, not on the top, but on the side. If you play on the top, then you'll see it kind of come to where it's hidden hidden behind your other fingers, um, but you want it to be out on the side. So the four string chord again is four, two, three, one. And you're gonna count it like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's go a little slower. So if you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna be your thumb first, then your first finger on the second string, thumb on the third string, Th uh, second finger on the first string. So, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two. Practice that with me. Thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two. I may be going a little bit slower. You may need to go a little slower. Thumb, one, thumb, Watch your fingers. Thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, two, like that. So once you can play this at a tempo that's consistent, even if it's really slow, once you can play it about nine or ten times, then you can try increasing the tempo. So. stop and just use the right hand. Thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two, like that. So then if we move to the uh, fifth string position, where you just basically move all your fingers up a string to the five, four, three, two pattern. So if we're playing a C chord, so we, we would say five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two. And if you want to switch to a six string pattern, like say if you were just going to play, move your bass note on the C down to the G, it'd be six, three, four, two. Five, three, four, two. And here, let's play a G chord here, G chord, G. Six three four two six three four two. Back to five string, and then the four string. And of course, you can slow that down as slow as you want to go. You might take your left hands off to just practice the tempo. So it would be four, three, uh, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, and then five, three, four, two, two, three. Play it four times. It switched to the six, six, three, four, two, six, three, four, two. Thumb one, thumb two. Back to four string. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one. Thumb one, thumb two. Fourth string. So we're saying the strings, which is four, two, three, one, and then we're saying the thumb, which is thumb one, thumb two. So the finger, the finger is how you're plucking. So let's do four more times, and we'll switch to the five-string pattern, which is five, three, four, two. So one, two, three, four, and then now to five. One, two. 
so it's thumb one, thumb two. Now we're switched to six right here and switch. Six, three, four, two, six, three, four, two. I'd practice with a metronome if you wanted to, where, where it's clicking on the one, two, three, four, and you're going one and uh, one and two and three and four and. And try and play that down, uh, that uh, bass note on the downbeat one and two. slower if you need to and just practice with the one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's how you count it. So that is the first pattern in our ten um, essential picking patterns for learning how to finger pick. Um, uh, stay tuned for the next pattern which is next week. So I uh, hope you enjoy practicing that and I'll see you next time.